Go ahead. So here we have a banana, no free pack, and the rate of deformation on this is going to be really quick. Check it out. It's a nice flat surface. It looked like brittle fracture because he went fast. All right, let's do the same thing, but go slow. So here we have no free pack, rate of deformation is slow. Definite ductal fracture going on right there. Okay, what's next? Next we have with the free crack. Okay, so we cut that with a little bit of a scissor there. And slow. And you get brittle fracture. That pre-crack causes it to look like a flat surface, like brittle fracture. Still probably looks a little bit different from these ones, the fracture surface. Yeah, look how much rougher this so one this is. One was with pre-crack, this one was no pre-crack. And this one's rough because it broke the seam, but then it went relatively slow, so you get more ductile behavior. This one's nice and flat. You can see that from the side. It's much flatter because it broke quickly. And then last of all, we've got this one right here, which has been taking a liquid nitrogen bath, which he's gonna whack with this big wrench there. And the part that was in the liquid nitrogen is completely glass-like. Look at that fracture surface. Very, very flat fracture surface. It looks like it was a piece of glass that broke. So that's how polymers, like bananas, can have radically different fracture modes and deformation modes depending on temperature and strain rate.